All right, so I wanted to give a live demo of the one gauge LCD screens. Uh, this is one of the demo screens that I've developed. Um, I'll run through the sensors real quick. You've got an accelerometer up here that gives you your, um, your vehicle roll and pitch. Uh, vacuum I've got set up, it also works for boost if you've got a turbo. Uh, trans temp, voltage, I've got a meter that goes from zero to 15 to show me about where my voltage is. Fuel temperature, uh, coolant temperature, oil, temperature, and pressure. And then I've got um, fuel level and fuel pressure. Up here I've got speed, miles per hour, my compass direction, altitude, RPMs, and then I've got some various sen uh, temperature sensors. This one isn't hooked up at the moment. Um, a couple of the, the great features of this screen, you've got uh, toggle switch options, so you can turn on um, different lights and things. So basically you could use it to control whatever kind of relay or um, any lights or amplifiers or you know a winch, whatever you might want. So just once again, see that this light turns on and off. Okay, and then I've got a, uh, another screen. Basically here I can control the brightness um, of the screen that lets me um, adjust the brightness so that during uh, evening it's not quite as bright and then here I've set it up where I can calibrate the accelerometer by touching um, that picture so you can see it resets it back to zero calibrates it and sets it to whatever uh, whatever angle I'm currently sitting at so I'll go ahead and do a quick driving demo I'll also turn on the uh, torque app so I have this unit the hub sending information both to the screen and to the torque app. So I'll set that up and then get going. All right, so let's go for a ride. Notice that the uh, tachometer is a little bit behind. It, uh, because it's electronic, it lags just a little bit. take a look on the torque app that I have running on my phone you can see three temperature sensors on the right um, the top one you've got external air temperature the middle one is intake air temperature and the bottom one is the temperature inside the vehicle on this screen I've got um, an estimation, and this is a pretty rough estimation, but it, it's entertaining and fun to watch. I've got an estimation of fuel rate and the, fuel, the amount of fuel that I've used for the trip. One thing that's important to note is that you are able to customize pretty much every way the look and feel of the Torque app, which is really nice. You can rename any of the gauges, 
um, orient them how you want to. The screen works both in portrait and landscape modes. Um, you can rearrange all the gauges, change all their sizes, all that kind of stuff. The Torque app is really a lot of fun to play with. It also gives you some uh, great options for dash cams and you know you can you can do things like lap times and a lot of other really fun um, implementations of the one gauge system. as well that um, the tilt gauge is based on an accelerometer so when you take turns um, the vehicle may not be tilting all that much but the accelerometer picks up on uh, the you know the vertical acceleration or the horizontal acceleration the g-forces so an accelerometer is going to be most accurate when you're moving slowly or sitting still so it works best you know for off-road you know slow movements Alright, so that's the One Gauge. Feel free to visit our website, theonegauge.com, or check out um, our Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash onegauge, or email us, theonegauge at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.